welcome back to zendry's yard style cooking so what i'll be preparing for you today i'll be preparing the famous mackerel rundown all right so here i have one pound of salt mackerel this has been soaking for one and a half hours what i'm going to do i'm going to boil it five minutes two times so each time i'm going to boil it for five minutes then i'm going to throw off that water then i'm going to go back again and boil it for another five minutes and this is just to reduce the salt intake from the salt mackerel all right there is no mackerel rundown without the famous coconut milk so here i have two cups of coconut milk now this is the coconut that i've blended and i've juiced and i've got two cups from it but if you don't have the dry coconut you can also go ahead use your tin coconut milk or your coconut powder for your mackerel rundown all right also i'll be using half bell pepper this is the yellow bell pepper as well as half green half red i'll be using about two tomato some scotch bonnet pepper my garlic thyme scallion and black pepper as well maybe a little bit of all-purpose some pepper flakes and some pimento seed so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go ahead now and start boiling my salt mackerel first five minutes i'm going to let this boil and what i'll be serving with this today i'll be serving some boiled yam green banana as well as some caramel dumpling okay so i'm going to let this boil then i'm going to come back and show you when i'm doing it the second time okay so the salt mackerel has been boiling for five minutes this is the first five minutes i'm going to go ahead throw off this water and add some fresh water to it and then bring it to a boil again for another five minutes okay turn this off and then, okay so this is going to boil for another five minutes and while that is being boiled i have my coconut milk now this part i'm going to allow it to simmer down until it forms like a custard then i'm going to add my seasoning and my salt mackerel and then we'll begin that process of our salt mackerel rundown so the flame is now on medium to low cut up my seasoning and then i'll come back and i'll show you the finish okay so now guys here's my salt mackerel finished boiling i went ahead and clean it up remove most of the bone from it remove all that you know that little slime dark outside part to it i've removed that so what i'm going to go ahead now and do is to saute my vegetable so guys this um mackerel salt mackerel rundown is a little bit of traditional with modern day twist to it the modern day part of it is where i'm going to saute my um seasoning to add to my coconut custard right but then you know that your grandparents never used to saute anything they just go ahead reduce this until it reaches the custard then they add all the seasoning and the mackerel and that's when you have your mackerel rundown but i'm doing it with a little bit of twist you don't have to do this part you can just go ahead and add it but i prefer to do it this way all right so i'm going to add my garlic first then i'm going to add my thyme i'm just going to saute this for maybe about one minute not too long i'm adding my onions and as you seen guys, I'm using about a half teaspoon or one teaspoon of olive oil. I'm not using a lot of oil because I don't want it to be too oily. There's already grease in the coconut um, milk. Right? So I'm going to add just a little bit of scotch bonnet pepper to it. Then also my sweet pepper is both red, yellow and green. Then last, I'm going to add my tomatoes. I'm going to add some now and leave the remaining half for when I put in my vegetables in my coconut. Okay, a little bit of pepper flake. And you have to be very careful, especially if you have young children when you're doing pepper. Sometimes I totally forget that I have young children. And now I'm adding my pimento seed and this is for flavor. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead now and saute this for at least one minute. I still want it to be crunchy, so when I add it to the coconut custard, it's not too soggy, okay? But I just want to do a little sauteing before I add it to it, okay? Right. So I'm going to leave that now. And then I'll 
I'll come back and I'll show you. Okay, so my vegetables has been sauteed for two minutes, so I'm going to turn off the flame. And also, this is my coconut now reduced to a custard. This is exactly what you're looking for when you're doing your uh, mackerel rondon. What I'm going to do now, add the seasoning to this. Also, my mackerel, black pepper, and my, a little bit of all-purpose seasoning. So I'm going to turn this off. I'm just going to switch the pots. Okay, so to stir. Then the next step now, this is where I'm going to add my salt mackerel. To it and normally my grandmother used to use a dutch pot but i don't have a dutch pot so i'm just going to improvise and use this and just look at that so now i'm going to add my black pepper to it just a little and remember this part is also optional you don't have to use any all-purpose seasoning but I'm just going to add maybe half teaspoon to it All right. then I'm going to let this simmer for at least two minutes two or one minute okay Because remember it's basically cooked and then once that is done then I'll come back and I'll show you my, the finishing product my salt mackerel rundown okay This has been cooking for at least two minutes and it's basically finished. So there you have it, my mackerel rundown, my salt mackerel rundown. I'm going to go ahead now plate this with my yam and banana and dumpling and show you guys. Okay. So there you have it, my salt mackerel rundown. And I'm serving that with boiled banana, a piece of yellow yam and cornmeal dumpling. Well guys, I am no dumpling expert. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and go ahead and try it and see how you like it as well. So until next time, what I want you to do is to like, share, subscribe and also turn on your notification button. So once a video is posted, you'll be able to be notified. Until I come your way again with something delicious, take care.